are minerals that are difficult to tolerate. Calcium supplements tend to be the most difficult on our stomach. They're very large tablets, typically very hard to swallow. If you break them in half, they tend to have sharp edges, just unpleasant supplements. Our calcium magnesium intensive care, it, it's caring not just to your system, it's caring to your digestive system. We design it, it goes in a capsule, a soft, easy to swallow capsule, an ultra fine powder that dissolves instantly to deliver its benefits. It's not in some rock hard tablet that basically imprisons the benefits. And you could talk to any radiologist, they've seen calcium supplements moving through the digestive systems of their patients throughout their career. So unfortunately, calcium magnesium supplements tend to be difficult supplements to enjoy their benefits, difficult supplements to take at all. Our calcium magnesium intensive care eliminates all the problems all of the problems and issues associated with typical calcium supplements makes them easy to swallow, never upset your stomach, even a sensitive stomach. And not only is it unique and special, it's also incredibly economical for how unique and special it is. So enjoy. Hello, everyone. My name is Helen Keeney. Yes, I am Helen Keeney, and I'm wearing one of my favorite Gabor wigs, which is coming up in this show. We've got five different styles. They're all the same price, and they're all on flex pay. So you choose the style you want, and you choose the color you would like to be. Starting out with our first wig, this is called Discretion. It's a mid-length, side-sweeping bob. Um, again, these are very, very cool. They're, you don't overheat in these. They're ventilated. They're customizable. Um, and this is the one I'm wearing. Here's our second wig. It's called Unity. I'm actually wearing this wig right now. We've got a rooted blonde we're showing here. I'm wearing the light gray, and I can tell you there's about 30 left in the light gray. The light gray and everything is always the first one to sell out. Light gray and black. So if you see what you want, and those are the two colors you're interested, I would jump in. Now, also we have coming up this is called ambitious and ambitious is you know bangs if you're wondering like how do you look in bangs put this on you know bobby wears this i saw bobby wearing this the other day she looked absolutely amazing your bangs are always like the perfect length hi ingerborg <laughs> ingerborg is going to be chatting with us throughout the show and can't wait all right that now we've got two more styles this is invigoration now invigoration is bangs and that razor cut that really cool razor cut you know where you come out of the salon and it looks really cool and hip and about three weeks it looks kind of like a confusing haircut because it only looks amazing the minute you walk out of the salon same goes for love you know i had a haircut very similar to this in the 90s it was the most expensive haircut i ever had because i had to get it redone every two weeks because my hair grew so fast this is that perfect pixie cut with these gorgeous gorgeous layers so if you love that style i would jump to the phones to get love they are all 129 three flex pay of 43 dollars and it comes with a wig cap I will suggest at the beginning of the show to get the wig stands. So when you wash them and pop them on the wig stands to dry, it's really great to have the wig stands are really, really affordable. I think I've got a three pack today for $15.95. See, item number is 733-993. It's three flex pay of $5.32. Even if you already own a wig, these wig stands are fabulous to have. But we're gonna come on over to our models. Kyle Kate is our special guest. Hello, my love. My Look at you. Friend. Wearing pistachio. Wearing pistachio. <laughs> I gotta say yes. something very funny. I was watching Helen on the monitor with her gorgeous blonde hair. I'm backstage. I could see this gray head woman. <laughs> To waving and talking to me. I, didn't I know, know it I was ran you. up to him. I know. <laughs> You're the third person to not know it was me. All right, so we're going to have Francine Vonda and Ingerborg, our models throughout the show. And Ingerborg, I feel like you've seen her on HSN. She's one of our <laughs> longtime models. And every time you see her, she's in a Gabor wig. But you cannot tell. She's going to be talking about her experience. And we're starting out with discretion. Isn't it beautiful? It's I gorgeous. Mean, I just said to Ingerborg, I call Ingerborg Inger Gabor. You know? Because <laughs> yeah. every time you see See this fabulous woman, she's wearing one of my hair. Yeah. But it's a gorgeous 
style. And I said to Inga, what do you think of this? Because it's a classic bob, but it's a one length bob with a sweeping bang, lots of layers around the face, just sits to the nape of the neck. And I think it's a classic mm -hmm. look. And this is dark brown, right, Ingor? Yes, this is dark brown. All right, so I'd love for you to take everybody, if they've never worn a wig before, is it hard to put on a wig? Tell, no. give, us the, give us the details. You know, it's so easy, but I want to just say that I need to buy those stands because, you know, I don't have them, and I just hang my hair through the bathroom when I wash them. My husband comes and he goes, what is going on in here? <laughs> we gotta get you some stands. I gotta get the stands. <laughs> we gotta get you some stands, yeah. So anyway, the, the wig comes in a box, right? So I'm just gonna show, take this one off to show you, and you have this cap that comes with it. It's so nice and sleek and comfortable. Well, then you wanna take that wig out, and you wanna shake it a bit. Shake it, shake it, shake it, right? And then um, when you finish shaking it, there are two tabs in the, in the back. And for me, because my head is so small, I have to pull them in a lot. I pull them in all the way. And you adjust it to fit your head size. And then before I want to, I want to show you this too. This is what I love too. I love this. The breathability. Because mm -hmm. you know that it's, it's hot down here. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to sweat in these wigs. So now I'm going to put it on. Very easy, very simple. Two tabs to the side, so I'm going to center those. And then I'm just going to finger style it with my hand. And so I'm going to push it to one side. Just style it just a little bit different from the other one. And push oh. it in the front. And you're done. And there done. I didn't even that. use a brush. I'm just saying, that's how simple it is. Yeah, and by the way, this is brown blonde <laughs> that Inger just yes. popped on. The wig cap comes with it. And, you know, I love how quick and out the door you are. One of the things I love about wigs is that, you know, usually it takes me two hours to wash my hair, blow dry it, style it, and then I walk outside, the style flumps, you know, in the Florida humidity. But with, with a wig, you always look absolutely perfect. Here's a before and after of Ingerborg wearing a wig and not wearing a wig. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just a, a totally different look. Absolutely. I mean, what a transformation, you know? And with this brown blonde, it's a color There's that... There's a dozen it... left in this color, by oh, the way. Oh, Only wow, 12. we better be quick. Um, <laughs> like Ingeborg has never wore this color. You don't have yeah. it in your collection. I don't. Inga said, no, I don't think I'm going to wear that sort of, like, um, natural, <laughs> sort of um, sun-kissed-looking blonde, but this yeah. has a beautiful brown base, and it's shot through with 7 to 11 tones, highlights, lowlights, darker at the root, and gorgeous, beautifully gold tipped. I love it on you. Thank you. I actually like it too now. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> you don't know if you're going to like it or not. Right, right. You think, oh, no, that's not for me. I don't like that color. I tried it on. I thought, you know what? I actually like that. <laughs> and so that's the thing. Take it home. Get it home. Try it on. See if you like it. I think you're going to like it. You're going to look can, like a movie star. Can we turn her around all the way? Because I think the back of this is really just, I think, stunning how it cuts. See that? See how it cuts into the nape of her neck? And uh, I just think that, look at that. That's like the perfect haircut. You know, you're so right, Helen. Look at this. It's got a, a, it's a stacked back, slightly stacked, but this is what we love. We've got that beautiful hair that just sits to the collar. Mm -hmm. But what we love about these wigs is, look, if yeah. you want to create volume in the hair, you don't have to wear it so flat. We can get this nice and big. We can get plenty of movement in it. Yeah. And it's just fantastic. You know, you right style. about here, I have a cowlick that looks like I have no hair. Uh -huh. and, and it takes me forever to fix that cowlick. So even if you just get a wig that you don't have to be like, can you see me from behind? Can you check the back of my head? Did I get that cow? I mean, they, there's never a cowlick. There's never like, oh, I got to get my roots done because the color's growing out. It's perfect every time. It's like you just walked out of the salon, right, Kyle? Absolutely beautiful. This is the fabulous thing about wigs. Wigs, okay, we all know what it's like to be in the humidity. Hello, I mean, we've yeah. all got naturally curly hair. Yeah. I step outside, my hair turns into a frizz bomb with this heat. The <laughs> fabulous thing about this fiber yeah. is it's a heat stylable <laughs> fiber. It doesn't get affected by humidity. So this desired style will just snap back into place. We can wash these, Helen, as well, which is fantastic. And if your wig is curly, if it's straight, if it's short, once we wash it, 
the fabulous XL fiber just snaps back. Yeah, just snaps back. I really, you know what? I don't think I've seen this color on you, Inger. I no, really like I, it. I really don't wear this color, but I tell you what, I will be wearing it in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this one going to disappear? <laughs> she's sold. She's sold. You know, the nice thing is we do free exchanges here at HSN, and you're like, oh, no, that only has to do with when you're buying shoes or you're buying it. No, no, no. It has to do with when you're buying Gabor wigs. So maybe you're going to jump into the brown blonde and you get it home, and you know what? I should have stuck with the light blonde one I always get. You can exchange a color of the wig for free. And then here's Vonda. This is the light blonde, this right? This is the light blonde, mm -hmm. my love. So base, this is beautiful. Now, because uh, Vonda has a slightly uh, different face shape. Vonda wanted it to wear more sleek. It's got this gorgeous sweeping bang as well. But remember, Helen, what we can do with the wigs, we can customize them. Yeah. So if you would like to put a little eyelash bang into this, you can. You know, this has been flicked away around the face. I love looking at the blondes on camera because if we turn you to the side, look at this. We get to see all those seven to 11 shades shot through this. So with the light blonde, mm -hmm. always face framing white across the face, darker at the roots, honey, gold, auburn, you name it, caramel, it's all in this wig. It's all in this wig. And also, a couple of tips for having wigs look supernatural is one, put your hair behind your ears and pop on an earring, just like you would any day, you know? Absolutely. Because I really think that, you know, just how you are with, with a wig, without a wig. Here's Vonda's natural hair. She's actually got great hair, you know, but... It, uh, it's styling it and key. how does your hair stay in the Florida humidity? Does it stay perfect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Nobody's. Join the club. <laughs> it's the bad hair state. We all know that. Yeah. But this, again, this her hair's going to look awesome. You know, maybe she's going on a cruise and everybody's like, you know, the whole family's like, come on, come on, let's go. And, and you're like just starting the styling process. No, you put on your Gabor wig and you don't miss a beat. I mean, it's really something that is going to be part of your life. And I think that wigs, by the Way, this brand has been around since the 50s, right, Kyle? I mean, this has a huge legacy of glamour and Hollywood wigs, starting well, that, out with yeah, Ava Gabor. That's right. Jaja I mean, we, Gabor. We, they were before the other sisters that the, begin with K. They yes, were the Gabors. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's <laughs> the right. The Gabors were the original ones. And like I say, they were the innovators of the ready to wear wig. And what they did was, Helen, they give away their celebrity secrets. Yes. They admitted that in Hollywood, Everybody's hair is not as fabulous as we think. And every woman you see on the red carpet over 50 is wearing so a little something something. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We all got something going on. <laughs> yeah, we all got, and I, can, I confess, I always have something going on with well, my it's hair. Funny, before I actually, well, we were, we were friends on Instagram because I follow this fabulous uh, woman with a comedy. But you had a different hairstyle. <laughs> every time I saw you, you were wearing a wig at some point. Uh, I wear wigs, extensions, hair pieces. I do all of that because one, it's easier, faster, and I like to mix it up. Like, I don't wear the same shirt every day. I don't wear the same lipstick color every day. I like changing up my of hair. Of course. Well, do you know what? This is what we love, because I know there's going to be necessity wearers out there. There's going to be somebody out there told they're going to be losing their hair. Maybe you have some form of hair troubles. Now, this is our gorgeous Francine. Francine is a model, obviously, but she's a fabulous actress as well. And I love using Francine, because Francine, you don't mind saying you have a little bit of hair trouble. The hair's gone a little bit fine on the sides. Francine has a cow's lick as well, Helen. And that's her natural color pretty much, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. So this is the light brown color. So if you like light brown, light brown has more caramel, warm, gold low lights to the brown. Medium brown has more red highlights. Yeah, and we're gonna move on to another style. Again, we have five styles in the show. The next style that we're gonna showcase is the one that I'm wearing. It's called Unity. I'm wearing it in the light gray, and just FYI, the light gray, I think there's only a couple dozen left. If that, I know Kevin, my producer, two dozen left. <laughs> so already, you guys are grabbing it. Here it is with the rooted blonde. Look at that rooted blonde is that not amazing so follow me because I want to go over to Kyle let's go to the colors because you talk about like 7 to 11 shades we have them here live in the studio from the lightest blonde to the you know to the darkest black I'd love for you to go through the colors because this really is the innovation of ready to wear wigs and when we Absolutely. say ready to wear the celebrities like the the bee who's on tour <laughs> <laughs> she she has wigs but they're 50,000 
$1,000 custom wigs. Hello. Just like they, a couture gown. That's right. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can pay, th you know that by being I do an actress. Know you know, the hair can be expensive. The fabulous thing about these wigs are we have 7 to 11 tones for every single colorway. Right. So they're not one block of color, they're multi tonal. So do we want to start with the colors mm -hmm. or were you, were we all, all okay going through? Well, we're on a video right now for the Fantastic. colors. I, I, after we do that, I definitely want to give an over, yeah, I want to do it live in the studio because I think on high definition right in front of me, you'll really be able to see uh, what we're doing, starting out with the blondes and then we're going to the light gray in the bottom row. Okay, well look at this. This is what I love. Look at the movement for a start. Remember, it's a heat stylable XL fiber. This is the light blonde color, okay? So this is the palest blonde in the collection. There's a white, there's a caramel. Darker at the root, honey, streaks of white, beautiful. But Helen, if you like more golden, auburn, honey tones yeah. to your hair, you go for the medium okay. blonde. Now the dark blonde is a beach blonde. It's a balayage blonde. Darker at the root, go into caramel blonde. The brown blonde has gone crazy. We started. Yeah, that's what Inger just had on. That's what Inger just had on. It's a little bit like my hair color, what, what I want my hair to be. It's got a nice dark ash blonde base shot through with a white highlight. Okay, love it. Browns, medium, sorry, light brown has golden tones to it. Medium brown has red warm tones to okay, it. That's, okay, that's, you know what? I'm so glad you're here to kind of, because I, I know you see, if you like more of the red tones, go with the medium brown. If you like more of the blonde tones, like ash, go with the um, light brown. Perfectly. So Perfectly then we're going to go to like the black, but then there's one next to that that looks very similar to the black. Yes, yeah. So the black, remember, even with the dark tones, Helen, yeah. there's still seven to 11 shades to every single colorway. Mm. That is the darkest one in the collection, okay? okay? there's only a dozen left in the well, style. Okay, we've got to be quick with that <laughs> we're one. Over at now, yeah. don't miss out on one dark colour. There's not much in it, but when you get outside, this has slightly cappuccino shades to it, okay? Really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, redheads, we're not missing you out. This is the medium red colour. It's a beautiful, really vibrant colour. I'll tell you that still... I had my hair this colour for a couple of years. Uh -huh. I stopped it, not because I didn't like how it looked, it kept going down the drain when I took a shower. Uh, yeah. It did not, st that red color doesn't it stay doesn't in stay. your hair. You're so right, Ed, because you're going back and forth to the hairdresser. Try the wig, pop yeah. it on. If you can't get to the hairdresser, mm. maybe you don't have the funds to get your hair done, yeah. try the I wig. I just watched a Rita Hayworth movie yesterday. So did, I. did you see uh, Gilda? Uh, yeah, <laughs> funny enough, it was I, yes, because I went yeah. on a Hollywood <laughs> round Me, I, do that, I do that all the time, and, and I think of the most famous redheads, so that's really? I love that. beautiful. Yeah. Now, this is a gorgeous red base, but look at this. This is where you get to see the fabulous Gabor 7 to 11 mm. shades. There's blonde in there. Now, a popular choice with grays, as you know, yeah. a bang on trend like right. yourself. And that's the light red that we just showed you. This one is the beautiful now. This is the brown gray. Okay. okay. All right. So it's a beautiful dark transitional gray. And if you want a fashion. Last call fabulous, on brown gray. Really? Last call on brown gray. And the last one is the gray that I'm wearing. Let's talk about that. How many do we have left now? Um, a dozen, a Whoa. dozen, 12 left, and you can see it. Now, what I love about this is I'm starting to get gray hair. Let's be honest, I started a while ago to get, to get hair, but it doesn't look gorgeous like this. It looks like a couple wiry kind of sticking out in my soft brown hair. It just doesn't, if I just went platinum like this, I would be like, yes, but it, that's not how nature works. We uh, sadly, <laughs> sadly, sadly, otherwise we'd yeah. all look around with no, this fabulous I, I hair. No, but I actually, this is my favorite <laughs> hair color on me is this platinum gray. Yeah, well, I I love you. I mean, we got a fabulous picture of you with a short wig. Yeah, yeah, the short one too. I yeah. love that. And do you know what? It's funny, Helen, because Let's when I started in the Let's business, walk over because you've got to see the, the gals everybody and was trying to hide from grey hair and dark roots. Yeah. Now dark <laughs> roots are in fashion and grey hairs in fashion. <laughs> right, and you know the twenty-somethings all want this color, That's but right. it's very impossible to get it out of a bottle. <laughs> you can't, yeah, absolutely. You can't. You You've can't. got to bleach your head to white and then put the silver tones on top. And then it doesn't stain, it turns yellowy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, it's now, that platinum. Now, talking about Hollywood glamour, Mm. We have our own glamour puss right here. Yep. You know? <laughs> what this, color is this? This is gorgeous. Medium brown. Medium brown. Yes. Absolutely stunning, Inga. <laughs> Don't you think this bob is just the ultimate glamorous bob? It is the most glamorous. I was saying to everybody who's watching, I mean, 
everybody should get this. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love this style. It just talks about glamour and beauty and elegance. And it's so classic too. And what I like about this the most is the style, yes, but I like the fact that you can pull it back and clip it up to Ooh. the side. And look at that. Look how nice for a wedding. Or just leave it out if you like. Put a little clip to the side. Put it behind your ear. I mean, oh, it's just so versatile. I really love it. It's absolutely stunning on <laughs> oh. it. And you know what? I've been working with wigs for 30 <laughs> years, you know? I started when I was five. So <laughs> this is why I, I like to say, to say I'm looking at the monitors <laughs> and I'm just going, Whoa. I mean, yeah. how beautiful do you... This looks like you've gone to the most expensive salon, yes. had the best blowout, yeah. the best cut, <laughs> and the best colour put in your hair. Do you know, I'm going to say, Inger, the thing I like best about this is when you wear a wig with red tones in it, to me, that brings out, like, a beautiful glow in your skin. Aww. It's my favourite wig you know, kind of shades yeah. is when there's Thank red. You. Yeah, and you always look gorgeous. And this brown has that warm, as you explained it, Kyle. Yeah. It has those red, warm tones in it. Definitely. So I remember, just if you just you. watched Thank it, you. the medium <laughs> yeah. brown, my friends, has red, more, a dark red mm. low light to it. Oops, I got an update. Hello. Brown gray sold out in this style. This is called Unity. The light gray that I'm wearing, a dozen left. Light gray, we're last call on the color that I have on. Oh, you know, look at Vonda. Vonda. I love, you know what? The rooted. To me, the rooted does everything. Well, do you know what? With the rooted wig, I, I think that. it's been revolutionary. We cut, we designed wigs with regrowth, with smudged root, because once again, <laughs> we are paying for roots. <laughs> we would we ever thought in our generation we would pay to have no, roots in our hair? No, but that's so true. <laughs> They're like, I'm smudging your root now. That's an extra ninety dollars. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So we were covering up, but remember. Fonda can wear the uh, light blonde wig unrooted, mm -hmm. or you can buy it rooted as well. So if I were you, I would go for two. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm sorry, Vonda. I love your hair, but this looks mm. like you've been to the best salon. You know, this look, This is realistic for Vonda. I feel like if she just, you know, showed up at an event or something or even at the movies or lunch, people would be like, oh, Vonda, oh, gosh, I love your hair. It, it looks to me like her real hair only, um, it's modern and perfect. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and, that's you right. You know, I mean, it's, it, I, I really, I think she could totally, no one would even think it's, it's not her hair. No, you wouldn't. And this is what I like. You know, wigs are not just for people with hair problems. They're bang on trend. They're a fashion accessory, but... Vonda could put this, if you got the call for a modeling job and your hair's, you haven't even washed your hair, you could come into work with this and people wouldn't know it wasn't your hair, you know? It's beautiful. But look at this curl pattern. This is what we love. Yeah. We love this romantic, beautiful, bouncy curl. And then do us a favor, Vonda, just give that hair a little shake. The hair moves. Remember, it's an XL fiber. It's a protein-based fiber, 7 to 11 shades, and we're actually making the wigs with Balear's smudged oh my gosh. roots. It honestly, I'm um, looking at her her real hair, and the way, it just looks like she just got it styled. Perfect, like gorgeous style. I mean, it looks so much like her real, and, and it'll never not be perfect. It will never not be perfect. Now, there's just enough. I'm trying not to bang your legs like I did yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like Slowly look. turn them, I yeah. know. <laughs> I'm gonna go like this so her knee doesn't hit that. Yeah, put, yeah. put a wig on your knees. <laughs> right, so exactly, be careful. What we can do as well with this, it's just enough hair. We can take this back, I'm gonna twist it like this because if you're running around in the daytime and you're hot, you can clip your wig up, leave some tendrils down, and that looks beautiful. Look at this. Well, we want to get to Francine also yes. because Francine's going to be showing, uh, you know, the versatility of Unity. Um, we're going to show the colors. Um, are we? We've sold out of the brown gray. I'm wearing the light gray. And do we still have any left in the light gray, Kevin? Because I ten. <laughs> okay, there's ten in the light gray. Um, medium red, light red, dark blonde, medium blonde rooted, which is what Vonda was wearing. Medium blonde, blonde rooted, light blonde, brown blonde, light brown, medium brown, which is which is what Ingerborg was wearing because she's got a little bit of the red warmth in it. Dark brown and black. What color are you wearing, Francine? 
light brown. So let's look at Francine in the light brown, which looks very much like your hair color. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, like she grew her hair out, yeah, and it looks perfect. You know, um, <laughs> Francine's got that gorgeous Italian look. You know, she looks fabulous. I like the smoky eyes. This is just enough hair, Francine. You know, you, it's not too much hair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what I love about this wig is you are all the most beautiful looking women, but you're all completely different looking women, mm -hmm. and you're all wearing the same wig. Same wig, and it really, and you can, st these are stylable, heat style. You can trim the bangs, you can, you know, you can, I love that you're showing that you can put your hair up in a, like a little clip because of, because this has some length to it. Um, item number is 763717. I wanna remind you of the wig caps. Every Gabor wig comes with a wig cap, but we have a set of three available if you wanna have extras. So it's a set of three wig caps. It's on hsn.com, item number 733982. It's only $8.95. And then we also have these wig stands. By the way, they flat pack. So let me just show you. Like you can take them apart like this. And then if you're traveling, they, they pack like completely flat. You get a set of three of them and it's just $15.95, 733-993. I think that's a great idea when you're storing them and also after you wash them to hang them up to dry. So we're gonna continue on to our next style called Ambitious. And I actually can change out my wig on TV. Well, you know what? They put it right here and now it's not here anymore. Did they, oh, is it back there? Oh, 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 there it is. Can I sit here? Can they shoot me into it? Oh, okay. Oh, this is exciting. Am I on TV? I love it. Uh, tell me, I've never sat here before. Oh, hi, I guess there's a camera through here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one off and you can see I have a wig cap on. And by the way, you know I have really long hair. I just parted it in the middle, twisted it, and went like this with a pin and went like that with a pin. So when you take the wig out, shake it, shake it to kind of wake it up. Um, I have uh, the opposite, not like I have a larger head, but what I do is I give myself a little bit of room because I have a hair that I've piled up on top. So I take this hook and loop closure and I make it like a little bit bigger just so I have like more room. Um, there's two little tabs on the sides. So let me just pop it on like this and kind of give it a shake. So this is, there's the two little tabs here, and that's how you kind of center it. But I love this color. If you have been watching HSN for many, many years, you will remember when I wore my hair like this for a few years. Uh, but it honestly, it didn't stay in my hair. It just didn't stay in. Oh, by the way, I'm done. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I could fuss with it, but I'm pretty much, yeah, Kyle's giving me the thumbs up. So let's, let's go over there. But what do you guys think? I love, I love red. I love I mean, red on me. And uh, me and Inga were just like, well, our mouths open. We're just like, <laughs> she looks fantastic. <laughs> well, I just, I'll tell you the reason why I don't have this color anymore is that I, it would wash out. It would wash out and wash out and wash out. And it, it didn't, I, I honestly, it was like, I, I couldn't even wa wash my hair. I didn't know, because red is, somebody told me it was one of the hardest colors oh, to stand. I didn't know that. It's it, one of the hardest because yeah. the, the pigment washes out very, very, very quick. But can I ask you, yes. do you have natural? Natural red tones in your hair? I, I do have a little bit of, of red in my hair, like a teeny, like a teeny bit. Uh -huh. uh, but but it really, like, I love this color. You know what else I love about this is it's red with blonde highlights. Beautiful. That's also really hard. You know, you got to watch that back because in that mirror, the color looks inc it looks incredible. But you know, this 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 is the one that you could put on and people would just think you've had your hair cut. Yeah. You know. I love it. And you know what? Putting your hair behind your ears. And having an earring, let me tell you, that it's like, that's kind of like, oh, that looks so natural. Because you've got those little tabs and I can kind of like feel it. Like you could do that or behind one ear, not behind the other. You could even do like little pins, you know, like a little clip here. I mean, it's, and the bangs, I kind of swept them to the side a little bit, but you could have them come straight down. Beautiful. Which is kind of, which is very like cool too. Yeah. I'm kind of looking in the monitor. And, and you know, remember, um, remember it's a heat stylable fiber, my friend. So with wigs, we couldn't do that before. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to put more curls in it, you could. If you wanted to blow out the bangs, you could. And then like you said, Helen, built into the side tabs, mm -hmm. a little metal stays, which snatched yeah. to your head, which makes it very secure. Now, 
Miss Blonde Bombshell here. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> Look at the pose already. Somebody's is going doing on. some boudoir shots later on today. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. I mean, I love this little wispy eyelash bang. It's not too heavy. We designed it very wispy, very lightweight, but I love this bounce to the curl, you know? It's Ooh. very pretty, very romantic. Now remember. And I'm you... going to say youthful. Youthful. Yeah. This one is very youthful. Very youthful. There's something about a bang that looks yeah. very youthful. And you know, I'll tell you, as I get older, my hair is thinner in the front, and my real hair, I can't do a bang like this because it's too thin. So when you get that thickness in the front, boom, that's why it looks youthful to me. Oh, absolutely, yeah. When it, it reminds you like, like you're going back to your, you know, your school photographs, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So everybody looks younger. But this is gorgeous. So remember, we can blow out the bang if you want to. If you want to straighten out these curls, you can but if I turn you around I'm watching your knees okay yeah <laughs> I'm gonna take the brush so if you don't want the curl so ringletty and glamorous look we can take the brush and we can just brush out this curl and you get a more romantic softer sort of um, a prettier sort of um, a more classic curl by brushing it out really really beautiful once again you can just finger style this. There's, we've designed the wigs for them to be easy for everybody to style themselves. Oh my gosh, I love it. And you know what? Those bangs never grow out. They never get in that you know, awkward stage. And if you are thinking, should I get bangs or should I not get bangs? Get bangs with a wig. <laughs> and then you don't have to, it's like, it's like not, if, you, if you're like not into commitment, <laughs> this is, wigs are great. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I just want to pop this one off for us, Vonda, quickly, because I love Vonda as a redhead. I really love her. So we're putting on the, um, the light red color here, okay? So remember, this has got those beautiful auburn mm. undertones. Like you said, it's got the amazing gold highlights swept all across the face. And I'm gonna copy Helen here and do a nice sweeping side bang. By the way, two dozen left in the light red. Oh, Vonda, I do like you in there. You know, your eyes pop with the red. Yeah. Yeah. You really, your eye, look, ooh, look at this, look at this, everybody. Look at this, look at this America. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Isn't it pretty? And look, we've just, you know, we broke up the bang a little bit, scrunched that curl. Now, the fabulous thing about XL fiber is once we wash this, whatever curl will snap back into place. Yeah. Dream hair. Dream hair. Don't you wish that when you washed your hair, the styles snap back into place exactly like it's supposed to in the exact length and the bangs are perfect? <laughs> this is gorgeous. I know. I like I love, now, is this the black or I feel like it's a little lighter than that? This is dark brown. Dark brown, yep. Yes. Just a teeny brown. bit lighter. Mm -hmm. So here's all the colors. Um, are there any ones that are sold out, Kevin? Because, okay, so. Dozens of each. Okay, so we have all colors, but we've got fewer than 300 total. Black, dark brown, that's what Ingerborg is wearing. Medium brown, light brown, brown blonde, dark blonde, medium blonde, light blonde. I'm wearing the light red, medium red, brown gray, and Francine came out in the light gray, so we can see them. Yeah, the yeah. light gray. But like, I just have to show this, because yeah. this is like Inga's natural hair color. So there's two ways of wearing wigs. We can wear them for a complete fashion change when Inga wears red, mm -hmm. but this is Inga's natural hair color, so Inga could pop this on and come to work and people would think it's your hair. Absolutely. Don't you love it? I love it because it's lightweight and the way it looks, it's absolutely beautiful. And you know, I went to the beach about a month and a half ago and the wind, it was so windy that the space shuttle was canceled. <laughs> and it was so windy and my hair was blowing and I thought, oh my gosh, I don't want my hair to blow off. Oh my goodness, I was holding it down. And my husband said, I thought you said those, those are secure. And I said, well, they are. He said, well, take your hands off. <laughs> and I was like, what? He said, take your hands off, Ingeborg. <sighs> and I was like, oh. And I was like, whoosh. <laughs> and I was like, and it stayed. OK. <laughs> it can, stayed. can I recap? Ingeborg, yeah. the space shuttle, <laughs> <laughs> and the wig. The wig, stronger than the space <laughs> shuttle. <laughs> Just, just to recap that moment, America. You know, I think that should be my slogan on the box. You know? Stronger than a space shuttle. That's right. Yeah. That's so funny. Oh but gosh. a space shuttle's got to be canceled, oh but now you're a wig. Wig's in it. It is so true. And another thing is, to you know, if you've never worn a wig before, these are the stories that we love because I know <gasps> there's going to be people. Uh, look at wait, this. we got it. You, you can't even tell us apart. We're oh like, come on. 
Oh, well, you got the dark right. red. Can, okay. we, can we go back here? We, we look like a pop group. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing, so I'm, I'm out. <laughs> so I was singing one time on air, somebody said, I like Ingeborg, but she needs to keep her day job. <laughs> Wait, what? Good job here. Who's you? I'll, I'll, who is it? I'll find up. <laughs> It was my friend. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This, oh and, now, what color is this? The medium red? This is the medium red. Medium and red. Inga, I've got the light red. Yes. Can you sort oh, of pump yeah, this up sure. for us? So, yeah. so you get this home, and it looks beautiful like this, but just in case you want to change it up a little bit, go ahead and do it. So Let's I'm going to do up, that. Up, yeah, and I'd love to show the back after she ha does it, because yeah. I want you guys to see how in two seconds. It's done. Yeah. I love the pump up. Now, the yeah. fabulous thing about fiber hair is it doesn't get flat. Right. We don't need to back comb it. Yeah. No, it doesn't get affected by humidity. With real hair wigs, they will go flat. But look at this. <laughs> look wow. at, oh, Inga. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can spend a little more time. Yeah. It's a little bit rough, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Have yeah. some fun. Try something different. Try a different color, a different style, and just make it your own. And Let's you can even just have a little ponytail. Do you know what? We're going to spin it around. Be, oh, watch sure. your legs. You want to make sure you're safe. Your legs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. This. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. And I think it's a lovely lens. Yeah. You could be 18, you could be 80, and this lens is going right. to suit you. And then look, we take out the clip, and what I love is, look at this, wow. We've got our own guild. I love here. it. Yeah. Here, here are all the colors that are available. Um, I'm wearing the light red. Inger has the medium red. Uh, across the board limited. There's just a few single digits in each one. Light gray, brown gray. Then you've got the blondes, the light, the medium, and dark. And then the brown blonde. And then we've got the darker, the light brown. Medium brown, remember that has that the warm tones. Dark brown and black look very similar. The dark brown is just slightly, all the 7 to 11 shades, just a teeny bit lighter. Teeny bit lighter. And teeny what, bit. When you get to see it, when we go out in daylight yeah in, in daylight yeah. you'll see the you kind of high natural the, highlights see in it, it. And yeah. we've got to talk quickly about this color. This brown gray has gone crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it's sold it's, out in a lot of the different yeah. styles. It, if it's like if you're a natural brunette and the gray is coming through. There's it's like, 20 left. It's like a mink mm. brown color. <laughs> yeah. It's got silver in there. It's got a brown base. And remember, if I hold this, we've got our fabulous gray as well. Yeah. Stunning. Beautiful. Two grays. Two grays for the, yeah. yeah. I mean, depending on which way you want to go. Um, we've got lots more coming up. We have another 20 minutes. We've got more styles. I might be changing to more different colors. We're going to go to hsn.com. We've got lots of sales going on. These are kitchen appliances that are on sale on hsn.com. So check it out. Maybe you're redoing your kitchen. Maybe you look at some of your appliances and you're like, they could use a little zhuzhing, just like your hair. So check it out on hsn.com. Kyle and I are gonna take a teeny little break. And when we come back, ooh, look at that shot. Ooh, ooh look at we love it. Yeah, <laughs> we, gotta get, we gotta get a week on you, Kyle. <laughs> I'm Christian Siriano and I'm a fashion designer. I really wanted to bring something whimsical and a little bit of fantasy and fashion to HSN, but still something that was very wearable and beautiful. I've designed and dressed first ladies, fashion icons, and movie stars, and now I get to design for you. Only at HSN and HSN.com. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. Be the first to shop Fresh for Fall finds, all on sale all week long. It's Fall First Dibs Week. We're bringing the brand new with a special event every day. Monday, show your team spirit with officially licensed everything, plus all you need to make big game day amazing. Tuesday, get crafty with all new finds from organization and tools to Halloween and holiday theme bundles and more. Wednesday and Thursday, fill your fall closet with 48 hours of the season's hottest head-to-toe style finds and beauty essentials. Friday, spice up your home with 24 hours of the latest cozy and designer decor, kitchen must-haves, and food babes. Fall First Dips Week truly has it all for fall. All week starting August 21st.
Well, thank you so much for watching HSN. I'm your host, Helen Keeney, and I've got my Gabor wig on, but I'm gonna change it out to our next style. So let me pop it off. You can see I'm wearing my wig cap, which is included in your little, looks like a little shoe box where you open it up. You know I have long hair, so all I did is part it in the middle. I twisted it, and I went like that, and I put little bobby pins in it, and then I put the wig cap on. So, Kev, what is this style called, our next style? This is invigoration. So when you take it out of the box, just give it a little shake, just like Kyle and Ingrid told you to. There's two little tabs on the side. I actually made this a little bigger because I've got hair piled up, so I like to have a little, but they're custom. So you can make it bigger or smaller by the little tabs. They're little hook and loop closure tabs. And also, these are super breathable. So even in the hot summer, these feel really, really cool. So I'm gonna pop this one on. I actually don't think I've ever worn in this one so I have no idea what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Let me bring it back and see there's these little tabs on the side and that's how I know what it's supposed to look like. Ooh, this one's very cute. I love this. Oh, I like this. So here, here you go. Um, all done. All done. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to work. Kyle's giving me the thumbs up so I'm going to go over and join him. But this is our next style. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Absolutely. Now, can I say um, this is brand new to this event? Oh. We've never seen this wig before. We launched it um, only yesterday. It went crazy for us. We had to restock because it is a shattered bob, but it's a beautiful length. You know, it's really stunning. It just sits to the neck like this. It's got lots of volume, and I love the way it's got these beautiful face framing layers. But a lot, a lot of people have loved about this wig is Inga let's show them the length because it's a really beautiful length look it just sits just past the neck which is really pretty and very flattering and once again it suits all face shapes and it suits every age of person who's watching it's stunning you know what, uh, what always amazes me is how easy this is I mean it's it's easier than putting your hair in a scrunchie yep <laughs> it actually is easier, right, right, Ingerborg? Yes, it's one, two, three, you're done, out the door. And, and this is um, <laughs> your natural hair, and this is you in a Gabor wig. And, you know, how often in your real life do you wear uh, a, a Gabor wig, Inger? Um, every day. <laughs> every day? Okay, all right. There you go. Yeah, every day. I'll change it up for you. So that was the dark, um, dark brown, and this is the light red. Okay. I have to pull the tabs in. Three dozen left in the light red. So you're making it a little smaller. Yeah, because I have a small hair. I don't have, well, I'll just stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Where The camera's on, the mics are on. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is the light red. Yeah. Yeah. And um, just so easy. And you're out the door. My husband doesn't have to wait for me anymore. Say, come on, hurry up. No, I'm ready. Look at this. You know, this is where we get to see with the fabulous Gabor colors, that seven to 11 shades. So we, what we've done is we've highlighted this all around the face, really stunning. Darker at the back, darker at the roots. It's a balayage color and it's got those seven to 11 tones. But do us a favor, Ingrid, will you shake that head for us? Just show, look at the movement and the wig just styles itself. I mean, Helen, you, we flung that wig on. You didn't know you was gonna I've do it. I've never put it on in my life. <laughs> right? I had no um, idea. <laughs> It looked incredible, we were all saying. But look at these colors, my friends. We can pick this up. If you've got no hair, look at this. You've got the dark underneath. You've got the highlights through the top. It looks like you've paid a fortune for a color at the salon. And a lot of times, you know, maybe you're growing out your own natural hair and you just don't want to go through those stages, right, Ingerborg? I mean, right. this is a great, great way to protect your natural hair. Absolutely, and sometimes, you know, you do go to the salon, you know? Yeah. And Sometimes you just want to take a break. Let's say you want to just save a few dollars, you know, and um, you say, oh, you're not going to go this month. You're going to wear your wig, and you're going to wear your wig for a month or two months because, first of all, you're going to save a few dollars for your vacation, and, um, and you're going to let your hair rest a little bit. And so this is just a good way to do that, too. So this, like you said, Helen, there's a lot of reasons why you can wear the wig. I like to change it up because I just like to be different, and also because when I go on um, auditions, like I went on an audition the other day and um, <clears throat> it called for short hair and I wore my Gabor short hair and um, it was just so much fun. It was a bond thing and it was, it was just incredible. We had so much fun and I had on my Gabor wig.
Yeah, I mean, it is so easy. This is exclusive to us here at HSN, by the way, and very limited. By the way, the light gray that I'm wearing, my uh, producer Kevin is just telling me that it is flying out the door. There's only four dozen left, but very, very popular. So if you would like the light gray, you can uh, grab it, get it home. We do free exchanges. So if you get the light gray and you decide, you know what, um, I wish I got another color, this color, that color, it's absolutely free to exchange it if, I, if you wanted to get the blonde if you want to get, you know, the war, I mean, whatever you want to get, it's absolutely free to exchange it. So I just wanted to mention that because if you're kind of, you know, kind of vacillating between two colors, you're like, mm, I'm not sure if I should get the brown gray or the light gray, just get one, get it home. If you don't love it, you can exchange it for free. If, if it's available, you could exchange it for free. We'll have, we will have other colors. So I'm really excited for you to try wigs for the first time. This is something, I've worked on television since I was 17 years old, okay? So so that's many, many years, over a half a century almost. No, wait, that, I did the math wrong on that. Uh, but that means I would have started when I was 11, but I did not start when I was 11. But I will say that it, it, the hair, getting the hair perfect is the most stressful, exhausting. That's why most people on TV wear Where? like extensions, wigs, hair pieces, and always, it's since, since like the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, time, it's we not. We were talking about yeah. the fabulous film stuff. You know, I mean, as you say, we're working with for 30 years. I did a lot of celebrity wig styling. Some of the big stars, you know, and the first thing when I used to get onto a shoot, they used to say, Kyle, please say you've got a bag of wigs with you. I was out last night. I've had, I, don't, I can't be bothered to do my hair. And I just used to say, yeah, if you want to put the wig on, pop the wig on and you're ready to go. You know? Really? Yes, because... You would come to the set with a bag of wigs. I'll come <laughs> always with a bag of wigs because wow. sometimes we just can't achieve what we want <laughs> right. with the hair that we've got. Listen, you need a lot of hair to create right. these fabulous No, and it's styles. true. I've got a friend who's a hairdresser and she says it's a comb, not a magic wand. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because there's some styles that I wish I could do, but I have fine, thin hair that I can't unless I add pieces or wigs, which honestly, I do all the time. Yeah, we all, all do. the time. Yeah. I mean, with this is beautiful. Now, Fonda made a very good point, didn't we, Fonda? We said that because of the humidity, Fonda has naturally curly hair. So this fringe... Every time Fonda cuts a fringe, it turns into little corkscrews. <laughs> yeah. So if we can never uh, get this razor cut look. Now, this is the lovely light blonde color. Fonda's natural Yeah, this hair looks like color. your natural hair color. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. I got to show you as well. Look at the movement. It's a bob, but it's got length. But if I take Fonda, we love to see the sides. Look at this. Wow. I love this. Look, we can take this away oh my from the hair. It just looks like you've had your own hair flat ironed and you've had one of those keratin treatments on it, you know? You know, I was going to say, it looks like she had that keratin, like, straightening. Yes. But um, yeah. it's very sleek and hydrated, and but the style is perfect. And maybe she wanted to give bangs a try, and then if she doesn't have to grow them out if she doesn't like them. I mean, I'm... I'm just mesmerized how natural and real. And it's incredible to me the technology that have changed in wigs over the last half a century. It is not like we don't have the same cell phone we had 10 years ago. These wigs are not the same as they were 10, 15, 20 years ago, or even five years ago. That's right. You know, you know? first of all, we had one block of color fiber. We, have? we didn't have true to life. We didn't have heat right. stylable XI, XL fiber. Mm. We've come out that with Gabor because the demand for human hair was so big. Right. Now we've made our own human hair, but in fiber. In fiber. Yeah, and okay, so we've got one style left and it is that perfect little short pixie it's called love so take a look this is honestly in 1990 I got my hair cut exactly like this I've got headshots with this exact and I thought it looked fantastic I could not afford to keep it up because I had to go get it cut maybe every three four weeks it started looking shaggy after two weeks it's so true it, you know this is a hard style to maintain and I know that Ingerborg I've seen her modeling like fashion shows beauty shows mm -hmm. and this is like one of her go-to's yeah it's beautiful yeah. is this the one that you've got that fabulous pixie in gray yes. on your social media it is, I love it, it. Is. I do have a picture of me in gray, and I don't want to force my producer to comb through but all it's my fabulous. Yeah, But I we do love have it. me I'll in the gray that later. I've worn. Yeah. This is gorgeous. So, Inga, why do you love this wig, my yeah. friend? So, I love it because it's my favorite go to wig. Because, in, and for my auditions, they're always looking a lot of time for doctors, nurses, and that is just, it's simple. But mm -hmm. I also like it because sometimes I like the long wigs, but sometimes I don't like anything on my neck. You know, 
And especially like sometimes when I'm going out in the evening time, I like to put my hair up, but sometimes I just like it short and, and um, sassy. Yeah. And so I like this. I like the fact that I can have this. Look how natural it looks, I mean, come right? On, Inka. You cannot tell this is not my hair whatsoever. But I also like that I can put it right behind my ear and look how natural that is. Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it gorgeous? It is stunning. Now, Inga, um, Inga just did a huge modeling campaign in Miami. We were both there at the same time. Is this the one you wore for the? I did. <laughs> bon. Bon, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You've got to see the picture. I... got a white tuxedo on. Oh, it was and this cropped hair. Oh, breathtaking. It was, it was breathtaking. It was so much fun. And I just want to say that, you know what? You're out there, you're a movie star. You're the star. You're the star of your show, of your job, whatever you're doing. You know, nothing is too hard and nothing is too difficult. Nothing is impossible. And just look good and feel good. And um, look your best and be your best. And that's what Gabor helps me to be my best. You know what I mean? Because, and that's not just for me, it's for everybody. Everybody wants to look good and feel good, right? And that's what it's about. It's about sharing the goodness, being happy. <clears throat> and sharing Gabor. Yep. It uh, look, looks gorgeous. And by the way, I took my, my cap off and um, it's it's like it, you you can have any length hair and wear a wig. Yeah. It do, you don't mm -hmm. have to have short hair. So this is you know how you see me day in and day out here at HSN. I just parted it in the middle. I twisted it like this, and I went over here and I just put a pin in it. That's Fabulous. all I did. Yeah. And then when I took it out, your my hair is like uh, it's I mean. I, I'm like good to go. It's not. It's not like you can change your look. Like you don't wear the same eyeshadow every day. You don't wear the same earrings every day. Changing your hair, changing it up. Change it up. And you know my top tip is like Inga's doing now. If you're changing your wig, mm -hmm. just change your makeup to suit it. So yes. change your lipstick. If, so right. Like, you're a blonde. You got just makeup. But if you was going to a red, you might have a bolder lip or stronger eyes. That's the top tip. Now hello, red. Hi. Stunning. I love it. Oh <laughs> See, I love it when you have any red on undertone because it comes out in your like cheeks and your skin tone. What I love about this, I mean, this is the same wig, it's just a different color. I love this. Oh yeah. Right? It just lays flat on the back of your neck and it just looks like your real hair. And it just looks like maybe, you know what? You dyed your hair, you colored your hair, whatever. I mean, it's just, you're looking good. No matter the humidity, no matter it's raining. Remember I told you that's how my husband, running down the road, and I was in the rain, and he was like, oh my gosh, your hair is gorgeous. I said, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't tell until months afterwards. I said, so, you know, finally I said, you know, that was my hair. I mean, it was my hair. I bought it, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not the hair that my, grows on my head. <laughs> but it's yours. You buy it, it's yours. And look fabulous and have fun and have a good time. It's beautiful. <laughs> and like, remember, um, this is the ultimate pixie cut, but what we've designed it here, when we get to a certain age, as we all know, we lose the volume here at the crown. A lot of people will be watching. Maybe you hot roller this, you back comb it. Maybe you try to cover up your patches and things. With a wig, you've got this volume all the time. I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's so... I'm standing right here. It looks so incredibly natural. And anyone can wear a wig. And it's whether it's just to save time. And by the way, I'm going to mention the price. The price of this wig is less money than getting your hair cut and colored one time. <laughs> one time because you know I was just hearing some gals chatting the other day about oh I can't believe it was four hundred dollars to get my hair highlighted wow. yeah I got those baby lights and then the smudge root and then the trim and then the and by the way that's here in Florida I know it's more expensive in like California and New York and everything or all London. across the country or London Oof, or you know crazy. it's different prices but 129 to all your hair will always be perfect you always have the perfect haircut you'll always have the perfect hair uh, color you're always gonna you'd be flawless rain or shine, humidity or anything. You're going to be fabulous all the time. Remember, the fabulous thing about fiber wigs is it doesn't get affected by humidity. So once you've styled this, like we got this gorgeous pixie cut now on the lovely, on, on our gorgeous Vonda, I would go, I would cry if any of you girls cut your hair off, <laughs> you know? Right. I love short hair, but I like it as a look. So you can get the best of both words. Vonda puts this on when she wants some other jobs and you want to have a completely different mm -hmm. look. Some big statement earrings with this yeah. bolder lips, heavier eyes. This is the light blonde color. 
absolutely mm. stunning. This is what we love. Any necessity wearers out there, we can get very paranoid about the back of the wig. This snatches into the nape of the neck. Yeah, look um, at the back. Yeah. I mean, uh, for me, uh, you know, as I get older, that's where my hair is thinner, is like right in this area up here. And then her, her hair is flawless. It's fla she doesn't have to worry, oh, am I, did I comb it the wrong way? Is that cowlick, does it look like and my hair is thinning? It's just perfect. 360 degrees all the time. And, you know, you're putting a little texture spray in, which I think is always a fun idea. And you could look at make it a little spiky. Yeah, make it a bit funky, make it a bit edgy, you know, make it a bit rock chick as well. You've got the volume. I know you're a bit of a rock chick, oh, Rhonda, yeah. you know? Yeah. This is beautiful. Point it onto the face. Style it up how you would your own hair. It's really gorgeous. And if you don't want it so big and glamorous, look what you do. You can get that French crop look with this too. You can brush it all onto the face and the fiber is pliable and we can make it really mm. chic and sort of that gorgeous French crop. Look at that. Look at you, you just, just by finger styling yeah. it. Like it wasn't even, there was no hot tools that you used at all. And by the way, wherever Kyle tells the, the wig to go, that's where it stays. Yes. Ooh. 129. And guess what? If in five minutes she's like, you know what, tonight when I want my long hair back, she doesn't have to wait eight years to grow her hair out. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> because I've done that. Uh, we've all done <laughs> we've it. We've all you done know? that. And the biggest thing as well is the cutting bangs into the hair, you know? It's the first thing yes. we do and we always regret. Well, it, well, you know that, that doll it. movie that just came out, uh -huh. that one doll that had the bad haircut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like you cut bangs on your doll that doesn't grow back. It's really we're, we're the doll that the bangs don't grow That's back. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the fun thing about wigs. Now, this is one of Francine's go-to wigs. She came into work wearing this today. She ran off to see a friend yesterday. This is Francine's hair. Okay, except it's a more groomed and it, covers. and it covers the troubled areas. You've got the cow stick at the back, Francine's got the cow stick at the front, she doesn't really like it. So, this is the gorgeous light brown color. Just want to show the profile absolutely beautiful. Looks like you've just stepped out of the salon and got a beautiful blowout to the hair and the perfect cut. But I gotta show this color quickly because time is flying. This wig is going like crazy. Pop this off for us, my friend. I've gotta show this beautiful brown gray color because this has been a big hit for us in this event. We are loving this minky brown color. Really beautiful. Yeah, and really the tabs gorgeous. the tabs are on the side, and that's how you kind of center it. And honestly, I probably could do it without a mirror because you feel that center, right? That's right. What we've done, remember the wig is pre-styled. Once you know that your side tabs are on, there's metal stays built into the side. Then you know your hair piece is on front. Comfort band at the front. One size unique stretch lace base. And also, we've got touch fastenings at the back so we can make the wig as big or as small as possible. Really pretty. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. It's very soft. Yeah. It, what, not a good description, a minky brown Yeah, I color. love the minky brown. I think that is a great, <laughs> that's a great description. You know, and if I look at her, it's like I can't quite say, oh, her hair is gray, it's not blonde. Brown. It's just sort of like this soft, really pretty color. Yeah, well, if you went gray, you would go more silvery. Yeah. If Francine, who's got Italian, um, you were going to go, well, you haven't uh, even gone gray yet, have you? Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. But this is beautiful. It would go this color, you know? I love it. I love it. Francine is like whispering her age to me, but I'm not going to say it out loud unless she <laughs> wants to. Um, item number is 662-562 if you'd like to get it, Kyle. There's a lot going on that looks gorgeous here. So, yeah, but once again, it's really stunning. I want to chop this up, okay? So let's come back over to Vonda because... I love, you, you've done this yourself, my friend, you know? <laughs> really gorgeous. Um, when I first met Vonda, Vonda said to me, Kyle, I don't think I'm a redhead. I said, trust me, with those blue eyes and your pale complexion, and now there's been no looking back. Yeah. Now remember, this is the fabulous um, light blonde color. The medium blonde, a medium red color is a really dark red. This is the light red color color which is really stunning you've got that gorgeous auburn base but we've shot the wig through with 7 to 11 shades of gold honey 
caramel, and you've got this beautiful cinnamon colour back. It is so gorgeous. You remind me of that actress who's in Something in the City, you know, the redhead one. <laughs> you look like her, really stunning. But once again, what I'm going to do again on Fonda is I'm going to use some spray on this. I like to funk this up a little bit. Shake the wig to wake the wig. Give it some volume, give it some body, give it some texture, and you can have fabulous rock chick hair in seconds. In seconds. Two. And, you know, we have five styles in this show. You know, we've showed all of them to you. I've, I've put on three of them. Uh, we've had our amazing models show you. There's Vonda, and we have, I want to thank Ingerborg, who did an amazing job, and Francine, showing how easy it is to put on and off. It's also very cool, but remember, for what it would, what, what it, you would pay for one time to get your hair colored, get yourself a Gabor wig. This is discretion. That's the style we started out with. And then our second one was Unity, which I wore in the gray. Uh, and uh, love that. And then we are going to Ambition, which I wore in that light red color, which is really fun. And then we went to this one, Invigoration, which I put on in the gray. And then our last one is Love, which is the real, real pixie, short, cute, sassy. And uh, Kyle made it look kind of like um, rock, rock and roll. Oh, look what you did, Chris. Okay, so here's me in three of the different wigs. Um, oh, look at you, Chris. I love that. Chris, our director, put that together. So the first one is the upper right-hand corner, and then I put on um, the second one, and then the third one. So you can see, and there's my, uh, I don't even want to call it my natural hair. That's my regular hair. <laughs> uh, I don't like 